It's just overwhelming. Okay, still not sure what you're looking for? Well, in Iraq, this man had to know. U.S. Army Scout Sniper Sergeant Kevin Crowell. He had to know or he'd die. Five of my buddies uh, in one day uh, were killed in one roadside bomb. Not much left and no wonder. Picture it being red hot. And look at this edge, look how sharp. You're seeing shrapnel Sergeant Crowell brought back from Iraq, tore apart his Humvee, tore apart his buddies. That was back in 2005, and now nine years later, Sergeant Crowell is dealing with PTSD. And then you've got a red container right there that can be anything. It's called hypervigilance. It's just incredible how mentally exhausting it is when you're constantly scanning the area for threats. And it makes driving down I-95 or anywhere horrendous. And I was sweating profusely, heart racing. Just take one of those orange cones. A lot of times um, they'll use cones or they'll use objects to guide you to one side of the road in, in order to blow you up on that side of the road. Or take a light pole or a pile of rocks, all tricky hiding places for IEDs in Iraq. So back to this look one more time. Notice the guardrail, the metal changes color. Well, that's no threat on I-95, but it could trigger a panic attack now for Sergeant Crowell because in Iraq, the color change was a clue. Pieces of metal that weren't the same color because insurgents had replaced it with something else. They would hide a bomb inside the guardrail. Hypervigilance, part of PTSD, the invisible wounds torturing so many of our veterans. Sergeant Crowell says the VA gave him 13, 14 meds for PTSD. Did not work at all. It was a recipe to kill me. But now he tells me he can go out, he can cope. Why? How? Well, <laughs> it's Bella. Bella is Sergeant Crowell's service dog, custom trained at Canines for Warriors, a nonprofit here on our first coast. She's there and she immediately pokes her head up and kind of nudges me with her, with her head and just as a little reminder that, hey, you're safe. You're not in a war zone. So now, Sergeant Crowell is living life. She's drastically uh, improved it. In fact, with Bella, he now has earned a college degree. And she's just a, a great, great dog. <laughs>